VW Lifers. Uh, look at this. If you see in this, you see all five of us, and we are uh, almost all at different locations. We're practicing uh, fantastic social distancing uh, tonight on VW Life, and we're going to bring uh, bring you guys a little video for us tonight. We've got lots of little topics we're going to cover, and uh, everybody say hi. Hello. Hello, Hello VW Life. Thank you. I think. I think I heard the bearded wonder actually speak. So uh, th for those of you out there, you need to take a drink. <laughs> Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson, Matt Jackson. Uh, you're just going to get drunk now. Uh, that'll do it. Almost out. So we are, uh, we decided to, far. we did decide to, uh, we wanted to, to bring you guys something. Uh, these are some crazy times as we all know for you guys and for us and everybody. And uh, it's definitely put a hamper on, or dampener, not a hamper, hampers where you put dirty clothes, a dampener on, a, on, on what it is we do. Uh, we're not gonna be going out and uh, finding any of, of Volkswagens right now, but, uh, or for that matter, uh, we're not gonna be able to be working on HB20 right now. Uh, so what is, uh, where are we on HB20 there, Mr. Tommy B. Smith? Well, um, I just got a phone call about 10 minutes ago from SCAT and they are shipping a very cra crazy motor. We're getting a 2275 via 82 by 94 with H beam rods, five fours. We're doing a K8 cam, their version of it. Uh, D port heads with match port intakes. There'll be 44 IDFs on it uh, and a A1 sidewinder, which we already have. All in all, we are really stepping it up. It's going to be a, a little monster. It's going to be sweet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. HB20 is going to uh, raise the uh, speed game. That's for sure. It's not a 40 horse this year. No, no, it's not. <laughs> and uh, that's, that's the guys out at SCAT are, are, uh, are kind of helping us out on that. Is that, uh, is that where we're getting everything from, right? We are getting everything from SCAT. We did reach out to them about uh, helping us out with uh, sponsorship, uh, but for the most part, this time, uh, Das Autostat out of uh, Salado is what's really helping us out with the uh, motor build. That's fantastic. I know uh, everybody's going to be excited to see HB20. I mean, if, if those of you who are not familiar, that's the 67 Beetle that we went up to OKC to pick up before all the whatever this is hit the fan for COVID-19 struck us all down with uh, putting us at home. But uh, So we're excited. It's sitting in the shop right now. It's full of parts just sitting over there tucked in a little corner. So um, you'll see it occasionally, but uh, we'll get out of this uh, from this quarantine stuff and uh, everything and uh, lockdown stuff and we'll start making some headway on it. But things are happening. That's great news about the motor. I know we're all excited. Yeah, so, you know, the motor came with, the car came with the motor that was really well put together. Uh, I think we just decided that it was a little bit small for what we wanted to try to go with. Uh, so we're really just sort of swapping it. We sold it off to purchase the new one um, and mild addition and in income or cost. But at the end of the day, we've stepped it up about 50 steps forward. So we're doing good. Uh, as far as we're planning, I mean, I mean, goodness gracious, it's a long way away. It seems like it, but third week in October, we'll be here before we know it. And it, it always is. And we just, we just hope that, uh, um, that we're able to have shows by then. We, uh, we have gone through uh, some times uh, where, we're, um, as many of you guys are, I'm sure, out there, too, that shows are, are being postponed or outright canceled across the, across the, uh, the world right now. And it's, uh, it's kind of tough on everybody because it's getting to be springtime and everybody wants to get out and have some fun. Yeah, I mean, even our first Wednesdays and um, third Saturdays are kind of being on hiatus now. Some, some of our videos won't be quite as exciting without the whole community aspect there. I think first Wednesday turned out pretty good. I mean, I had all my cars there, and I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even use any gas. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, it was. Uh, it was. It was quite a show. First Wednesday was this past week too. I just thought about that. So, yeah. yeah, April Fool's Day. Yeah, we had um, a virtual. Uh, oh, it was April Fool's Day. Yeah, we had it was. a virtual uh, first Wednesday meeting, and everybody posted up. You know, the, the car. It, I like that kind of stuff. It was fun. That was good. Well, that's kind of the world we live in right now, where we gotta we gotta we gotta stay connected to everybody as best we can. And I 
I know that uh, we were all very, 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 very looking forward to Dub Splash, which was going to be coming up here in two weeks up at um, uh, just south of Dallas. And as far as we know, the, uh, the Dear Loof Coolers, the just amazing show that they put on, that has been postponed. We don't know till when. Um, we got word that uh, the Monument Show over in Houston is not going to happen downtown. It may happen out at the uh, the beach the there. Seabrook place? Yeah, Seabrook, yeah. possibly. But that was uh, May May 17th, the Monumental Bug Bash. It ain't going to happen. No, it's uh, not. I don't think so. 5G taking us down. Yeah, I'm afraid that's not going to happen. Probably the uh, I, there's, there's the way we look at it. Uh, probably the first big event of the whole entire world when we get going again will be. Uh, I'm guessing, as I get my calendar out, will be June twentieth. Uh, the June Bug Rally. Well, the muted one will be the one heading up that route. So yes. Yes, so Davey and I have been planning what we're going to do and kind of incorporate. Uh, it's going to be very Austin-y. It's going to be very VW Life-y. And the big thing is Davey and I have been doing this since I was 15, so 10 years now. Davey and I have been doing this. So we've, uh, we've got a good, uh, good idea of what racers like and kind of what will help make it easy for everybody involved. June Bug Rally 20, JVR. Uh, hey, it's uh, tw uh, June 20th, June Bug Rally. So... Goodness gracious, I hope things are clear by then. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> and we'll make sure to print enough packets this year. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we had, what did we have last year, 60? Well, I printed 55 packets and we had to cut some people off. So yeah. We, we so almost 60 them. cars. Yeah. Pretty impressive. So June bug's coming up. Let's just hope that this stuff is, uh, they're kind of relaxing on some of the, some of the lockdown stuff by then. But as far as shows, then, I mean, where we are in Texas, that pretty much seals the deal since we don't have, since Dub Splash moved from July to April, and now it's been postponed, and we don't know when it's going to come back. So uh, the next big thing that would be ha happening would be uh, the rollout down uh, Labor Day weekend in San Antonio, SATX. Um, yeah, I guess that pretty much covers us for current events, right, Matt Jackson, as far as shows and things? Yeah, that was the segment we like to call show news. Now it's Show news. <laughs> Welcome to show news. Hey, what about, uh, what, what uh, do we see in the world right now as far as uh, what we're working on ourselves? I think we should start with Tommy because uh, he's working on something real nice. I did just install a motor. It's a little bitty motor, but we're going fuel injection on my wife's car, the 68, uh, so that we can go turbo with it sooner than later. Um, so I did get that in and I started working on wiring it up and getting it plumbed. Uh, I got all the fuel line in because it's going because it's fuel injection has a return line, so it has a feed line and a return line. Uh, all that's in now, and now that the motor's in, I can really start moving forward on getting a bunch of stuff done. Pretty awesome. And that's going to get a turbo. It's going to get a turbo. Turbo. It's going to be a turbo. Ooh. Turbo. I I'll have to race you for pinks with HB with twenty two seventy five. Weird. I don't want to have four fast cars. <laughs> yeah, you got a red one somewhere that's really fast. I do have a red one. I, it's it's in quarantine. It is. <laughs> it knew this was coming. <laughs> it knew two years ago. <laughs> it was already prepared. Let's say last year, but not two years. Yeah. yeah almost. Mad Martin, I know you came over and uh, we left some tools out for you to borrow the other day. We I haven't to... even used those tools yet. Oh, well, that's okay. What are you, what are you working on? Jessica's axle to rebuild. I've done, painted a whole bunch of stuff on the motor. Watch Jesco. Uh, what? Watch Jesco. Jesco's a 71 bay window. The one that sat in the driveway for two years. I know that. They don't. Yeah, Matt Jackson will have some video to pop up for that. The pop up right here. Uh, painted some stuff. Uh, motors half together. What else? Ooh, the 68 drives again. I really? finally got everything readjusted. No more squeaks. So it's got all new ball joints. Readjusted the... Lowered it again. So it's lower than it was last time. It's not nose up anymore. All new ball joints. 
and then readjusted the wagon's west beam to be lowered a little bit more because before it was sitting kind of nose up it would level off when he sat in it but now it's lower i just needed to do the brakes because i had to disconnect the brakes to hook the spindles back up and then i still got to do the gears brakes next week because i got a new master cylinder that's it and do an ignition next week oh you got that Let's go that uh you got to bench bleed that master, yeah, cylinder master. On gear right put it in, yeah. yeah but that's it and I ordered a bunch of parts from J Bugs today or yesterday. And for Jesco? Yes, I got a new fan, new fan hardware, and some other junk. Some little bits and pieces. That's a it. Fan. To finish off the motor to get yeah. it ready to go in. Yeah, because all the tin's new and everything else is new, so I just put a new fan on it. Because all the fan's all grungy and I don't want to spend time to clean it. So it's 20 <laughs> bucks to buy a new one. A doghouse fan, 35 millimeter, was only 25 bucks new. Yep. Good mm -hmm. grief. Look at the yeah. knowledge that comes from that man's head. Uh huh. The shocker thing there is, I had those on the Samba OG German ones, Martin. That have 35? Been blasted. Yeah, 35 millimeter. Yeah. Uh -huh. How much are those? Uh, for you? <laughs> They're way more little, than those uh, J Book little, ones. A <laughs> little down, a little much. Take payment. That's awesome. Uh, uh, Matt, you've been busy, Martin. That's good. Matt Jackson, uh, rumor has it, uh, you came and borrowed a, uh, engine test stand. I set it out on the driveway for you. What's the story on that? Uh, yeah, that's right. From the mystery motor video, I can put a link here. Um, I got that little motor built and all back together. Uh, and it runs, I have to replace the valve covers. It has crappy aluminum valve covers. So I ordered a couple of valve cover fails, I guess you call them. And what makes them up. crappy? What makes them crappy, Matt Jackson? Um, they don't seal the oil from the oil comes out. So, yeah, they suck. <laughs> that would call the oil coming out. It's called an oil leak. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a feature on those custom ones. So I got that all going. So hopefully yeah. I'll have that running this weekend. Also, just been uh, working on the videos for you guys. Um, the uh, we have a lot of new subscribers from the um, drag race video that we want to welcome and the rescue bus behind me video. How about you, Gary? What have you been working on? And Jake? Hey, first of all, we got to thank uh, companies like J Bugs right now for being open and helping us work on our Volkswagens and keeping everything kind of rolling. Um, like you were talking about, we actually mentioned it's going to be in the video about companies staying open and helping, you know, keep the economy going is actually working on your Volkswagen ordering those parts. Yeah, good point, Jake. Um, I know that uh, unfortunately some uh, of our VW folks in the VW community have had to actually close, uh, uh, close down right now. Uh, Whispered West for sure. And they're good friends of uh, the harvest and uh, we uh, hope the best for those guys because they had to shut down completely. J Bugs, uh, Martin just put a big order together and I just put a ginormous order together from them for uh, the 71 Westy that we're working on. And then also uh, the guys up at Bus Depot up in Pennsylvania, they're open and taking care of orders too. So I got a bus canvas coming for those guys. They, theirs are the best at, at Bus Depot for sure. But um, Jake, what have we been working on, man? What haven't we been working on? We've done a lot of landscaping around the place, uh, playing with our dog. Uh, Doing weird stuff on Volkswagen is like working on Scirocco front ends. I've uh, worked on that 71, I think it's 71, yeah, the 71 bus. Uh, been tearing that thing apart and ready for stuff to come in, start putting stuff back on. Uh, what else we've done? Worked on the trailer a little bit, kind of stuff like that. Yeah, we've been busy. Um, People want to know, did we get a winch yet? No, we have not gotten a winch yet. We're still, that would mean having to go to Harbor Freight and I'm not walking into Harbor Freight. That, that it, stuff probably comes straight from Wuhan. So I'll pass on Harbor Freight for a while. I think we are uh, looking for a donate, donated winch to yeah. head our way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we are. Leave a <laughs> comment in below. We'll take care of uh, getting the shipping done for you. Sponsors. <laughs> sponsor. Winch sponsor. <laughs> winch sponsor is the best. Martin did find some amazing um, aluminum ramps that I just need to kind of measure them, but those look really, really good from ramps to ramps to go or something. What was it? Oh, it was e-trailers. 
e-trailers. Yeah, they were really nice. I seen those. Those are nice, and they were low profile, so that you could you didn't have to worry about them. It's more of that that dip that we have to hop over, and you know, big buses is fine, but when you're dealing with like the HP twenty, it's right on the it's too low, so we yeah to figure it out. Even with the, uh, we, uh, Jake mentioned the Scirocco's, we took Rocky 12 uh, to uh, get the front end aligned. And so we put it on the trailer and we ran into the same, cause it's pretty darn low. It's got Raceland coilovers around it. So it's sitting on the ground pretty good. And we had to use the board trick for those ramps. So the trailer's definitely gonna get some new ramps here. But the nice thing is at least it drove up and down on it. We didn't have to crank it up with a pulley or something like that or a come along. but. Um, yeah, the 71's coming along. You know, it's uh, speaking of coming along, one of the things that you all, it's, it's a mystery. I mean, th this bus is relatively dry, and uh, we were so excited because, you know, the front windshield on uh, bay windows usually gets pretty rotted out. A lot of times you'll see that go, ugh, and we're going, oh, look at this one. It's so nice and dry. So, but since we're going and doing a complete uh, paint job makeover on it so we pulled the front windshield out and removed the seal and ugh, it was uh it's pretty it had some pretty rotten in there so jake's going to practice his welding skills with the new lincoln welder maybe we can weld a floor into a split window single cab while we're at it oh, that was that that was a shot across the bow hey what about <laughs> the old, been done. what about the old orange menace <sighs> Why are you bringing stuff up like that? Well, it's done. we don't have to include this. <laughs> yeah, we do. This is great. Because it people, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to sell it. Um, Martin, what's up with the Orange Menace? <laughs> it was done. The graphic and it looks decided really not to go in reverse at all. Did y'all just adjust the shifter and maybe? Everything was adjusted. It'll, like, it'll click into reverse. And it'll go back about six inches and then just start grinding. It's just not there. Remember that red uh, 70 that I had of Joel's with the Rivieras with the bad reverse? It's the exact same thing. Yeah. So um, uh, the Menace, uh, hey, just got uh, even better because it's going to get a new transmission. Yep, and that Where graphic. transmission done at? Uh, I think maybe Udo Johnson. If I got, I guess you have to call him. Or uh, I've heard that uh, there is uh, one around. That's I've, pretty awesome. I've heard that there might be one over a chum bucket. Oh, you know what? Uh, that's got to be an IRS training, though. Yeah, I know, but there's one over. Uh, Martin and I went and looked at it near near. We dropped off. Some oh yeah. Paper. What? Yeah, Pat awesome. has one. He's got a race transmission. Who? Yeah, and you add that to it. I'll mess I, him tomorrow. I do. I do know the number uh, that he's looking for. Uh oh. Yeah. We'll just buy everything. We'll buy a doom buggy too. <laughs> you could. It'd be almost just a couple bucks more. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, yeah. So b bottom line is uh, the menace is. Uh, it's very menacing. God, it goes so good in the, all the first four gears. It's just that one with the R. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen the reverse gear. It's this little bitty cup thing that holds a gear and it sticks off to the side and you put it in reverse and it, it flips down. It is the weirdest thing in the world to, to look at. Uh, so when Mike was getting his done, we were over at Udo's and he was showing us all this stuff. And that cup was just destroyed. It was way off holding that gear and that gear was literally could have bounced its way out of it and never been able to find reverse because there wouldn't have been a gear to slide into, into place. Uh, Udo is far smarter than I, I am at any of that, but um, it's very cool. But going backwards, uh, Martin does know where a super killer uh, IRS transmission can be uh, purchased at. No, oh, we'll have to uh, follow up I'll on that. Hit him so. up. Because the, I mean, uh, the menace, I mean. I can do it now. <laughs> 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 hey, the good news is the Menace really looks good. I mean, uh, it had, uh, Martin put the uh, Menace decals down the uh, on the rockers, and uh, God, it looks really good. Matt Jackson did some great video work for us, all in uh, going forward, nothing going backwards. But it's okay. Yeah, I seen it. I think I missed Martin by about ten seconds because uh, the I seen it the day the Menace stickers came on, but uh, they look really, really good. This segment of the show is called YouTube Comments. 
So Spam Gnome says, okay, new merch idea. Now that the CDC is recommending face masks for all, a VW Life branded face mask. Who's went, Who's in? Oh my, that's pretty funny. Actually, I can get Denise to make one of those. That would she's, be good. She's Mark. been making a, a mask, surgical mask that has a bunch of layers. I think Martin picked up one or whatnot, but um, she's been making them for a lot yeah. of people. You don't have it on right now, Martin? No. How does a mask work with that beard? It doesn't work well. Yeah. No. You just have to roll the beard up and then you gotta, like take it and like fold it. And... I saw one dude take it up and, like there and see I have a built in mask. Like a, like a, the whole, it, it, it holds his whole beard up. So, yeah, oh, no, yeah. I'll just do this and then tape it. I'll send you some rubber bands and you can just yeah, rubber band it up. It's like yeah, that, five layers of hair. It's fine. That would yeah. be effective. Yeah, it's, like I, a, no, it's like an N5 instead of an N95, right? Yeah, Jake and I went to, uh, we had to hit uh, Wally World today for groceries and uh, we, we wore our uh, paint respirators and the checkout guy goes, that's a great idea. <laughs> Reggie Tate said, um, uh, great find. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys get her running. Thanks for sharing. And hey, Reggie, thanks for buying a long sleeve t-shirt. That's awesome. Yeah, Reggie liked uh, the 78 bus that we rescued in the last video. Yeah, that, uh it will be a while till we get that going, but do stay tuned. But it, uh, we got to get the 71 done first. But uh, uh, the 71's going more like a re full restoration kind of thing. The 78 will be a road restoration because the paint's not bad. We got to fix some rust on the corners. That's about it. Conrad K. Ask us, uh, you know, Conrad is the oh, yeah. uh, Austin Air Coolers Board uh, header upper. Uh, he asked if you grabbed the sun testing machine out there that I told you. I was like, dude, throw that in there. <laughs> throw it inside. Y'all just leave. Y'all leave it there. The um, the uh, diagnostic machine. The yeah, the sun pro machine. That thing was sweet. Um, the the guy that that uh, we were getting the bus from wants to keep it because he's gonna do something with it. Well, yeah, you know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we tried to get it. But we did, yeah. It didn't go without lack of trying because we wanted to take it and drop it in your driveway. That would have been really awesome. Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people commented on the Red Beetle. That's right. A lot of people asked if we were going to save the red one. Um, as of right now, there, it's not in our plans. We just don't have any room for it here. It's got a whole field. What are you talking about? Did you always, <laughs> I got a whole field to put them in. Did you know if that was for sale? Uh, yeah, so the beetle, uh, his, here's the backstory and all that stuff. His grandfather liked old cars I and mean, you can saw the trucks and obviously the Volkswagens that were in that video. But before that, he had just cars out the yang, as the old man would say, just tons and tons of cars were sitting around there. And he went in and kind of just scrapped a bunch of the ones he didn't want or know or anything about, like, you know, just stuff in the 90s that no one would care about, a bunch of NSXs and Miatas and Scirocco's, stuff nobody cares about. And then he called me on the Volkswagens before he scrapped those, and then the old trucks he's keeping for himself. Yeah, he mentioned that there was a, um, a, uh, a square back that was chopped in half or something. I don't know what it was, but he said it was pretty uh, it was abomination. Hey, Big W says, great video. You know it's a real rescue if you have to use a Bobcat to get it. I enjoy riding along with your filming. Thanks for sharing and hope your week and health are doing great. Big W. Big W is a really nice guy. He always comments on the videos and he's got a channel of his own. He's got a Baja and he lives in Arizona. Uh, so we'll put a link to his channel right here. Go check out Big W. He's a real nice guy. Yeah, thanks Big W for that. And uh, yeah, we were fortunate. The, the, the guy whose uh, property, uh, it was his grandfather's, he was doing some deconstruction there of some uh, old barns and whatnot and he had the bobcat rented for the day he says hey i can help y'all i'm like oh thank goodness because it really made getting that thing out a little bit easier so, uh, mostly just clearing all that debris out of the way hey did you see that square back on facebook the other day for 9500 here in, in town i've never seen it before with the wood rack mm -hmm. it looked really clean but the interior was sitting out on the driveway i don't know i've never seen it before so in those cars i mean we always are astounded we shouldn't be but by the cars that just Hey, I've never seen that one pop up here in town. I mean, I guess we're a pretty big city, which shouldn't be surprised. There is a lot of cool cars around that just never see the light of day. And then when you do see them, you're like, what? Where did that come from? Yeah. Like, what? Like that certain 63 anthracite beetle sitting in the garage. Oh, there's one of those? Driven? Um, the, that 
63 is getting brand new tires. Hello. Because the old ones had like 4,000 miles on them. Oh, and they had 21,000 miles on them. Oh, okay. But yeah, but I looked at them and they were 12 years old. I'm like, Ugh. so we got some new stones. How long have you had that car? Ooh, that's a good question. At least 12 years. I don't know if I had that car. That's a good question. I'll, we went, I remember us going down to New Brussels area or whatever. Oh, do you remember? Yeah, we went down there and like, I go, Tommy, come with me. I don't know Beatles. And, there, and then you know, there, there we ended up with it. I'll tell you when we bought it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, May 2009. That sounds about right. Yeah. Jeez, I paid that much for it. I think that was paying that, that much. I must have had a weak moment. That's you said, you said that, that was the most you've ever paid for a car. That is the most I've ever paid for a Volkswagen. It still is to this day. That's crazy. But I, I mean, yeah. And then, of course, having the boys over at Caney Creek re, repaint it for me was so, as Martin likes to say, I'm upside down in it. I don't think so. No, I don't think. No, not what I'm seeing the uh, early Beatles go for. Holy moly. Yeah. Um, I guess that's a trend right now. Let's, let's, let's segue into that. Um, what are y'all seeing out there in the Volkswagen world? I mean, we, obviously shows are not happening right now, but what, do, what do y'all see that's kind of trending right now? Old Volkswagen Scirocco's are so hot right now. Uh, bring a trailer has had them on there a couple times in the last couple of days. Uh, one sold for 35,000 <laughs> and then one today, Jumped from 5,600 to 11,000 in the last couple of hours. Volkswagen Scirocco's are hot, baby. Haggerty said it, and it's uh, it's coming true. So, uh, in the Scirocco business, baby. Y'all have one listed? No. <laughs> we, do have, we, we do have three on the premises. <laughs> uh, what else? What are you seeing in the world of Volkswagen trends? Matt Jackson, you're always hip on the YouTube stuff. What are the YouTubers doing out there? Well, all the comments say that everyone's stuck inside working on their Volkswagens, and uh, I, so I, I'm hoping that this is a good time for the VW community. It's a time to get stuff done. Yeah, as long as you can get parts. From J-Bugs. Yes. Know. Scat. Scat, J-Bugs. Um, I did call Busty Steve Performance. Uh, they're working on a skeleton crew, but they certainly are getting stuff out and making sure that parts are delivered as needed. Uh, but those guys are pretty awesome over there always willing to help out. Trending, wanna... trending Volkswagen things. I think uh, um, we're, we're, everybody's familiar with the Samba, of course, and uh, Everett does a great job of, goodness gracious, what a, what a wonderful resource that is for everybody. But I really like, uh, uh, I think Bring a Trailer has been a, of interest to the last couple of years. It's really because you're seeing real dollars for what stuff's going for. Now, obviously it's, two or three guys going crazy for the same thing. You could just watch them kind of outbid each other, but at least it's real. You know what the numbers are real money wise sometimes. And I think Haggerty's Jake mentioned that earlier. Haggerty's is definitely, I mean, they were, they said uh, the top end Scirocco 16 valve is worth 35,000. And sure enough, that's what that last big Scirocco 88 went for or 87 data. We've seen that car up at Dub Splash before too. But yeah. I guess from a trend standpoint, we're going to, we'll see what's going on. I mean, uh, it's such a weird time right now for for, ever, for everybody. So I think everybody's just ready to to get out and drive around some and, and see the, and cruise with if everybody. Golly, that winter cruise seems like a million mile, year, years ago, but that was like the last thing we did as a, as a Volkswagen community. Okay, Gary, how about we start a viewer mail now? This will be emails people sent to vwlifevw.gmail.com or posted on our Facebook group. We'll have a link to our Facebook uh, page down below. Well, thanks, Matt Jackson. Let's start off with uh, Brian. And Brian, I'm probably going to butcher your name. It's CYR, so I'm just going to call you Brian C. Uh, Brian uh, looks like he might be stuck home quarantined. He said he just came across uh, VW Life. And he says he's over in H-Town uh, after moving out from Nevada. And uh, let's see, uh, uh, Brian says he's uh, in the air cooled for, uh, boy, he's had one, his super beetle named Herschel, for 25 years. So uh, he spent a lot of time in his garage uh, out in Las Vegas. So I bet Herschel's nice and dry. Um, he used him for a uh, daily driver until he failed the smog test. Hey, guess, guess what? You don't have to worry about that here in Texas. So especially with something 25 years old. So get, uh, get Herschel going. And he says he's spending time out there right now cursing, <laughs> cursing, at, cursing at Herschel. 
And uh, Herschel looks really cool. It's got some uh, MP8 spokes on it, so the famous wheels of the menace. So they got to be awesome. But uh, uh, Brian C, thanks for uh, thanks for writing in to uh, VW Life. We really appreciate it, buddy. So we got Christian Perez with his '83 Combi. Said uh, he's been following YouTube for a while now. Blah blah blah. I'm horrible at reading, by the way. Uh, now that Matt and Jake. Yeah, it's a it's a '83 Combi Mexican Mexico bus. <laughs> So it's pretty cool. And apparently someone's editing the text while I'm reading it. So it's disappearing. <laughs> There's some foul language in there. Uh, we also want to say hi to Mark. Mark says, uh, great YouTube site, great videos. Love all your episodes. I'm 65 and I've been running and off-road racing since 73. And I'm on my 27th VW build, which is a Baja bug. Keep up the great work. I am Norwegian based in the UK. And boy, oh boy, that's a lot of Volkswagens. And I'm loving this um, Baja. I like the touches in the back. You can see in the back window, he's got his spare parts kind of displayed there. You can kind of see a uh, spark plug wire and clutch cable and his, um, his fire extinguisher back there. So that's pretty cool. Must be loud too, because he's got some uh, ear, ear, ear muffs. So thanks, Mark. Cameron Leet. Yep. He says, hey, VW Live, I was hoping you would enjoy a short video of my bug. I installed a new exhaust system. I also made this cheesy remake of a commercial of the early 60s. If it premiered in one of your guys' videos, it would be amazing. So guess what? We're going to premiere it. All right. Well, here's Cameron's video. Volkswagen, the most reliable car you can drive. Most people don't like driving an updated model. They choose a Volkswagen. The VW always looks like this year's model, and it doesn't drop in value overnight. It's the quality car that's economical, too, and the most durable car for you. So buy a Volkswagen. You'll be happy when you do. Camilla, uh, all the way from Hawaii, hit us out with the Aloha. Uh, VW Live. She just found us on Facebook, but she has a nice little 67 two-tone Beetle. Uh, it's got nice little eyelids on it. It's a good-looking Beetle, man. And then I got to give a shout-out to my boy, Big Peter uh, Schropp. He's a Volkswagen guy. Uh, got an old VW Live sticker, put it on the back of his bus, and uh, put it in the center. But he's just, you know, in the VW Life, man. It's about sharing with other people and enjoying the community. So Anastasia, who lives here in Round Rock, has a – have you seen this thing? We told you the story about uh, a few episodes back. And uh, they have named their uh, thing – it's named Frankie. And has uh, they were out cruising around uh, enjoying the uh, nice spring weather here. And thank you for posting on VW Life Facebook page. We have a Facebook page? Yes, we do. Huh, who knew? Well, now everyone and, knows. And everyone no. go, uh, go like our Facebook page, link below. Uh, yeah, that's, that's nice. Yes, but hi, Anastasia and Val. It's good to see you guys. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, and we all read your comments. And thank you for watching this episode of VW Life. We'll see you next time.